get to the end of a wall that opens onto another room, you often find an obtuse angle of 270 degrees. It's an outside angle. To allow the moldings to hug the contour of the walls, perform two 45-degree bevel cuts and assemble the molding at a right angle, like so. In the corner of a room where you find another new right angle, which defines a perimeter closed in on itself, you have an interior or an inside angle. Here again, to cut the baseboard, make two bevel cuts to form a right angle. If you've ever installed molding, you know interior angles are rarely at 90 degrees. The adjustment is difficult to perform unless you know this trick. On one of the two baseboards, make a 90 degree cut so it fits snugly against the wall. Then, using a piece of scrap molding, precisely trace the contour of the board on the back of another piece of baseboard, this one, like so. Using a jigsaw, you cut off the section you don't need, then you adjust the second board on the first. And if you've done your homework correctly, then the result should be flawless. These techniques used to achieve uh, outside and uh, inside angles apply not only to baseboards, but to wall moldings, shoe moldings, picture and chair rails, cornices, and crown moldings.